Hey Saggies, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a new love reading for December 2021. I'm about to say two. Uh, for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sorry it took a little bit to get to y'all. Um, just been real busy. But anyway, um, <clears throat> happy birthday, Saggies. Happy birthday. Actually, I don't really be saying happy birthday no more like that. But happy solar return day to all the Sagittarius's out there. Um, I hope y'all turn up, you know, and enjoy your season. Y'all have to wait all damn year for this shit, you know. I have quite a, um, well, not quite a few Saggies, um, I have, um, I have, a, uh, you know, I have, I do have some Saggies in my life, so, happy birthday to you guys, uh, those birthday, uh, was today, the first, the seventh, so, yeah, um, Happy birthday again, Saji. So, we're going to go ahead and get this started because it's been long enough that y'all done waited. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please be sure to hit the like button. I'll give y'all a little bit more. Where y'all at? Uh-huh. Let's keep that energy clean and clear. All right. Again, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My station is like... Oh my gosh, yo, hold on. It's driving me crazy. I really hope there's something in this container. And then I'm going to have to like... Grab something to, to dry it with. But anyway, I hope y'all holiday was good. I know I'm very delayed, but anyway, I hope it's good. I'm still asking because I care. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment if you choose to do so down below. Just make sure it's a high vibrational comment. We're gonna be using the Unknownable Tarot deck today. I do not clarify those that are new here. Um, I only clarify if I am told otherwise. So with that being said, you know, we will get the messages out for you guys. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. I'm sorry, so I just like, I'm really not trying to do cleanup on y'all. How about I say on y'all shift? Some of y'all could be at work or on your way to work. If you are, drive safe. But it's just driving me crazy looking over here at Dustville but it's really not dust it's a lot of it is from the sage and um, the rest of it is from the incense because sometimes I burn sometimes I burn the incense sometimes I will burn the sage I pretty much do what I'm drawn to do all right I think we're gonna No, I don't have fucking ADHD. It's just, it was just annoying me. So, anyway, we got that cleared. I'm just trying to get it to dry now, y'all. Hold on one second. You know when you be look like, you know damn well what you want is not nowhere near around, but yet you look around for some shit anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, y'all. Looking around for some shit that ain't nowhere to be found to draw the table. Anyway, we're going to be working with the Unknownable Tarot deck today. Uh, we are going to do with the Oracle cards like we always do. Um, those that are not new. Um, then we're going to go ahead and dab into Tarot. This is not a PG-13 channel, but that being said, I do say what the message that I'm re being uh, given, I say exactly what I see. 
Uh, so, you know, it could be something that you might not like, and that's fine. Just, you know, t uh, you know, tough it up and let it roll off your, you know, let it roll off your back or some shit. But anyway, um, anything you want to know about me, it's going to be down below. Personal readings, please feel free to reach out to Fiery Falcon Tarot, either on Instagram, you can DM me, or you can simply shoot an email. Uh, which is fiery falcon tarot at gmail. Uh, we do have a new moon cycle coming up here in, in your sign, actually, Saggy's uh, December 4th. Those that are not aware of it, now you're aware. It's a new moon. I'm not sure if I said full moon. If I did, I apologize. It's a new moon, December 4th. First quarter moon is December 11th. Full moon is actually going to be December 19th, and then December 27th is going to be the last quarter moon to wrap out 2021. Damn, y'all, we're about to be in 2022. Is everybody ready for that? Like, what the fuck does that even look like? I don't watch the news that much. Like, I haven't watched the news in probably at least three, four months. Uh, so I'm not really sure what's actually going on. I kind of hear stories from being out in the world, uh, from individuals, but, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I heard, uh, I overheard someone's uh, mentioning about a new strand of Covinus or some shit. If y'all know about that, uh, can we talk about it a little bit? You know, I would love to know about it. Can somebody enlighten me? Because I don't watch the news. Uh, the news is too low, low vibrational for me. Um, it's very, it's a drag. It's depressing. It's very minimum positive information on there. You get like four positive stories to a hundred low vibrational stories. And I get it. Like, you know, they got to put the messages out there, but I'm just not here for it. Uh, but anyway, that's just me. So again, is a general reading for new love for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're not looking for new love, this is not the reading for you. If you're contemplating on dipping out on where you're at, then I don't got nothing to do with that. So, you know, if you hear... And you're in that boat, you know, just go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not in that boat, you still hit the like button. Please and thank you. Alright, see what we got for new love for Sagittarius. I am not ready for the holiday. I have not done not one thing when it comes to... Uh, Ordering, buying, shopping, anything. I've I've shopped in the five day. It's in the cart and shit. It's just not, you know. I just haven't clicked on buy. I'm kind of just contemplating. I have twins, so you know I have to double every fucking thing. This is not a problem. It's just that I'm not really sure. I put so much shit in the cart. It's like around thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars, and it's like. Okay, are we processing enough elimination here, or are we keeping everything? Um, it's just very tough. So I, I'm not, I have not made a final decision yet. So, but I gotta do it so I gotta do so soon because um, you know we getting close. We getting close. We got like what four weeks? Some shit. <coughs> Excuse me. Got these cards for y'all while I'm choking. Okay, this is four cards. Fuck it, we'll keep them. It's your birthday. All right, Saggies, let's get into your reading. Let's find out what we got going on for y'all. For new love for December. And for your birthday. Mm, is it going to be good or bad? Well, let's find the fuck out. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. You guys could have Aquarius in your chart. Uh, you could have an Aquarius coming towards you. 
Um, Aquarius season is around the corner. Uh, could mean something, could not mean something. So, uh, well, we know the star card in tarot represents the, well, we, I'm sorry. We know Aquariuses represent um, <clears throat> primarily the star card, a major arcana card in tarot. So, you guys could be feeling, um, maybe you want to heal something with somebody, Sagis. Possibly, or you could be simply um, just wishing on a star, right? You know, just, you know, make, seeing that fall on the star fall out the sky, and you just, you know, you're making the wish to uh, to a noun, right? Yep. <clears throat> no, not N-O-W. N-O-U-N. Yeah, noun, person, place, or thing. Because everybody's journey is different, and everybody's story is different. So some people could be waiting on, uh, wishing and hoping that they hear back from this job that you apply for, right? Or you could be hoping and wishing that you patch things up with a relative, right? Or, you know, you could be hoping and wishing you get approved for a home. Or, you know, there you, you get you get the point. So, it's a noun. So, it's a person, place, or thing. Um, uh, so, it could, it could play either way. Anyway, that's the energy that I'm feeling like is going on here with that. All right, we got woodwives. Adaptability. So some of you guys could be trying to adapt um, and, and, you know, maybe you're doing something that you haven't done before. And so I don't really want to say like that fake it till you make it type of energy, but, you know, sometimes you do, right? You got with, within reason, right? Uh, you got to fake it till you make it. So maybe, you know, you're, you're, maybe you're trying to you're trying to fake it till you make it. You're trying to avoid adapting to a situation. You're trying to avoid. I feel like this is an, a, an avoidance. You're someone's trying to hold back or avoid adapting to a change or something like that. We also have the number 10 here, which talks about endings, right? Cycles closing out here. Um, and then we can also take it down to a five, which talks about, again, change. All right, so your divine, I'm sorry, we are using oracle cards, the moonology cards here. We also have the shaman's oracle. We have the abundance oracle deck, and we also have the angel answers. Uh, we will also pull from the soulmate t um, oracle cards, and then we're going to also pull from the romance tarot. I'm um, sorry, not tarot, oracle cards. All right, but so next up, you got right now. Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust the, trust that nothing more will come than can be handled each moment. So, pretty much like, uh, not restrict yourself, but just, uh, they're saying stay in your lane. Um, so, no, but not necessarily stay in your lane. So, it's like, don't, don't bite off more than you could chew, right? If things are picking up and going good, make sure that you are... Uh, equipped for whatever, like it's holiday time, so a lot of you guys could be, um, you know, like in management position, or you could own your own business or something of that sort. So you want to make sure that your product is up to par. You're keeping up with everything. Um, you know, making sure you know you're just keeping track of what's available, what's not available. Making sure everything is updated. This is what I'm I'm seeing here. Uh, like the inventory, make sure things are lining up, matching up. Um, things of that nature is what I'm kind of feeling here and just be in the flow. Um, I'm here. Don't overexert yourself or exude yourself. Uh, whatever that is. Uh, don't throw yourself off the deep end. Um, unless you can swim, right? But, um, that's, that's just what I'm feeling off of that card there. And maybe you guys could need to get near water too and meditate because I'm just, drawn down to him meditating and it's kind of reminding me of the hangman card so a lot of you guys could be in that hangman energy right uh you could be dealing with a pisces uh for me to mention that um but that's just what i saw when i looked at it all right so we have communicate clearly here so again that kind of goes off with that adaptability i feel like some of you guys are trying to avoid adapting to a change or to it's like an avoidance there like i was saying um, so maybe that definitely is something there. Um, you could be worried about the conversation or something like that. And it's indicating that you don't need to worry. Just communicate clearly here. Um, and I guess kind of get out of that, like, I want to say like stubbornness energy and just be within the flow. 
I feel like a lot of you are like logs right now in a stream of water, like just trying everything in your power to avoid, oh, maybe avoid loving, love flow. I heard love flow. Well, actually, I heard love comes down. Oh, you make my love come down. But that's the song that I'm hearing, but the words came out totally, totally unrelatable to the song. Um, but I feel like someone's like lying in a stream of water like a log. Like, like we're going to use the Paul Sento. though. So this is the stream of water. And then we have someone that's just laying here, like trying to block the flow of the water passing through. But the water is the love. Hmm. So someone's holding back how they feel. I'm hearing confessions. Somebody wants to make the confession. All right, we have within the next few weeks... And then we also have a year from now. Okay, so. Uh, hmm. You guys could be waiting to hear back about something. Like I said, maybe that job potentially or just something, some type of noun. Uh, maybe trying to expand something here. So within a few weeks, you're going to get the, the green light to maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing like. um like contractors or something like that. You're going to get the green light from the contractors that, you know, the building permit is approved or something like that. Something's getting ready to be a go to move, to move forward. So if you were waiting on something to take off, take place, or to begin construction or something like that, then that's getting ready to be a go. All right. You know, if you're waiting for any type of anything, I feel like it, it's get ready to be a go. Whether that is to rebuild, reconstruct, um, something like that. If it's credit, I feel like because some of you guys could be working on credit now because I just was that just came out of nowhere. It could be like within a year from now. So within a few weeks, you're going to possibly get with um, someone that's going to start the process or you're going to team up with people that's going to get the ball moving, moving here. And that's going to take you to within a year from now that, that things are going to be, you're going to see an improvement in that area. All right. It could be a number of things, but that's what I was getting directly. But um, anyway, that's great. You know, that's great. Definitely want to get that credit up. All right. All right, Saji. So what y'all doing for y'all birthday? Where the party at? Y'all could be drinking a lot. I'm hearing something in this liquor by uh, Breezy. So be careful if y'all going out celebrating. I would definitely Ubus um, or something like that. Uh, you know, to avoid the DUI. You know, it's not worth it. You know, celebrate responsibly. Celebrate responsibly. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands falling out and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there is a destined change that is taking place here. Um, it could already, the process could already been started behind the scenes here. We do have that new moon coming up in, in your season, Sag. So that could promote a huge shift in the energy here and the change, or could just simply increase the speed of this wheel that's already been spinning here. I feel like it's already been turning in the background. And I feel like you're trying to make a, you made a choice here to go towards your ace of wands right because you get down to two wands the next thing is the ace of wands so i feel like you like i said the blockage and avoidance here with the love story that's coming back here strongly so i feel like you you're finally you're finally letting up it's like i see someone holding up bending the, the uh not the fire hose someone could be uh calling the fire station or a fire truck could be riding by or something like that um Sidebar, but um, anyway, I feel like you know, you was avoiding you know, you're finally removing yourself from the middle of the lake here, so that's a good thing, that's a great thing. Um, so I don't know, we'll see if this energy comes back out, but something is definitely uh, destined here to shift here. 
And I feel like maybe you guys are trying to avoid this shift. And when when the divine is involved, that's something that's unavoidable. You cannot avoid. 20 minutes. All right. You guys just got cards falling out. Look, chariot. So exactly, like I said, with that wheel, um, I just see it like... Um, not quite like a Ferris wheel here, but something like that. Where I, because you know, the Ferris wheel, they, they don't go fast, they just keep it at a set pace, right? But this is something that I'm seeing that is okay. So, those of you that know the TV show Price is Right, and when they spin the wheel, and it's like that, but it's like you know how it makes the noise when it's slowing down, the boop, 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 that's what I'm hearing. So, okay. It's unavoidable. Let's see what this pre-reading energy is. Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. New love for the month of December 2021. On the first cut, we have... Ooh, Ten of Swords and Five of Wands. Okay. So, you know, obviously, Ten of Wands is... Or, sorry, Ten of Swords is just dead, right? Ultimate death. Ultimate betrayal, ultimate backstab, all of the below. So you're definitely going through some heartache, some 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 troubling times. Uh, it could not be. It could not. Doesn't necessarily have to be a, with a significant other. It could be a loss in the family, right? Someone passing away, or a loss in employment, or a loss in a car, or you know some type of loss. You took some type of loss, and then we have the five of wands here. So you're just feeling really um. A lot of conflict behind it, um, you know, especially if it's like work related <clears throat> or anything that's kind of putting you in a bondage. I feel like it's not the eight of swords, but I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you're in a bondage. Maybe you're strapped for cash and it's holiday time and, you know, you're, you're devastated here. You're heartbroken because you're not going to be able to provide or something of that sort. But just, you know, know that there's going to be a shift here because we saw the Wheel of Fortune. Next split, we have the Ten of Swords back again, and this time we have the World card. So that's confirmation that um, Spirit is definitely stepping in here to uh, close out a troubling cycle here for a lot of you guys. And if it's not a troubling cycle, then it just could just simply be a, a noun, right? Your Spirit is closing out something that's no longer, uh, it's no longer giving you vi vitality, right? It's no longer bringing you any stability, any uh, nourishment, any nothing. And here you are, Sagis. You guys are popping out here in your energy here with temperance and still this ten of swords. Um, so, yeah, that's what we have. Uh, you know, I feel like you're just definitely healing a lot of you guys. Have healed, still healing, major majority of the way healed. Um, and you're just essentially bringing balance back to yourselves. Um, and maybe that's why the avoidance card, like I was saying, I feel avoided avoidance here with that energy there it could be a conflict with yourself right because i said about love and we are on about love and look what's at the bottom of the energy of the reading here the lovers um is this making a choice here but we saw that two of wands there so it looks like you definitely made a choice here sag and if this is not you someone made a choice about you you are the one is what i just heard um but you know it could be a Gemini. Hmm. That's interesting. That's beautiful. It's right on cue here. Perfect timing. Exactly what we're discussing here. Love and the lovers fall out. First card out. <laughs> the lovers. Spirit's like, nope, bring that ass here. Bring that card back on out. All right, lovers wants to be here. Who is Saggy in love with? Who is sad you trying to show the real them? I feel like a lot of you guys got a mask on. Masquerading, but you ain't at a masquerade party. Hmm. Okay. You look good, though, by the way, behind the mask. Still look good behind the mask. But, all right, who is sad you trying to be real with? What the hell? Is sad you's in love? Some of y'all could be singing about this love. Like singing in the shower or in the tub and shit, fantasizing, just look. I hear Ezel. La la la. La la la. Those of you that don't know who Ezel is, I cannot help you. 
Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This is a strong connection. Three of Wands. Movement here. Saggy's is moving. Or, or someone's moving in on Sag. Oh, what we got here? Ten of Swords, yeah, because you went through so much, Spirit is going to bring you that divine counterpart. You healed. I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you came, you played, not necessarily played, but you, you know, you gave something a shot in the past here that, you know, did this to you, right? Or you did this to whoever. But because of that, you're going to get a renewal here. With this Ace of Cups here. Mm hmm Feel like this is the last the last of the last of the hurt. If you guys move in this divine direction, that's it. You're gonna drop the burdens. You're not gonna have anything else to worry about. Or that, that Ten of Wands could be also because you guys are feeling burdensome. Yeah, mentally trapped in your heads because you're hiding how you feel with the avoidance. Even though it says adaptability, I know what it said. I read it to y'all. But I'm telling you what the energy is. I don't give a damn what the card says. The energy is avoidance. Period. Y'all can say what the hell you want to say. You're avoiding something. If it's not you, then someone else is. Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. <clears throat> Alright, so you're feeling... All right, so I'm getting so ten of swords and the ace of cups could be old love coming back in here with the lovers. We do have the two wands, um, two and two. So you could be seeing two, 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 or just twenty two because I said two, right? Two and two. But the lovers also he talks about making a choice as well here. So you could choose from new love or old love. I feel like here, and I feel like you know you're not wanting. For some stories, you're not wanting the love, the options that is coming in. And for others of you, you're feeling like you don't want to miss out on an opportunity on this pre-Empress energy here. Nine of Pentacles. Someone that is good on their own. Or this could be you guys. In your head, could we see the Eight of Swords here? You're like, uh, do I really want this? I'm good on my own. I, I don't really know if I want to cause, a, you know burdens in my life with the ten of wands this would be tumultuous this could be stressful here uh this could put a death to you know my singlehood which it would obviously uh but you know just life changes right and this could also indicate for the ten of swords and also the eight of swords here and you're just feeling like oh my god you know i feel like a lot of you guys are just really devastated here like oh my god <laughs> Like, really? It's not, is it that fucking bad, Sagis? I mean, you have a divine counterpart here. And that's how y'all reacting? Oh my god, like, do I fucking want this? And I feel like you guys just feel like your life is gonna just be over here if you accept. And here's the chariot coming back. Could have a cancer in your chart. Cancer could be coming for you here. Page of Pentacles is happening. We're just going to pop a look at this one. Three of Pentacles. So you guys want to build and connect. You want to hold on to this here. If we, you know, Page of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. You guys want to hold on to this person. Or someone could be trying to hold on to you. That you don't want to be held on to. And that's why you got the fucking Four of Cups here. It's like, get the hell out of here. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you did all this shit to me and you have the audacity to come back and say, hey, let's let's give it another shot with the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here and the lovers here. I'm hearing like, you know, I, I know I messed up, but, you know, we could be better. Um, Like, what's that song? Baby, you can love you better. I can love you better. Something 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 better i don't know who sang that song i can't i think it's like i want to say fabulous for somebody but anyway and they're like you know i can love you better than than the, the new person and i know you and i know the mistakes and i made the changes and i've done all right these want to fall out 
But I hear something like that. Some type of shit like that. And you're just looking like... Oh, I was about to say something. I don't know if Christians watch my channel. But if y'all do, welcome and hello. Please hit the like button. I love everybody here. I don't judge any spirituality. I don't compartmentalize spirituality. To me, spirituality is spirituality. And it's up to us to come to our own understanding, uh, understanding, understanding of the the spirituality. All right, and that's just what I think. But anyway, we're not getting getting that. All right, so we have yeah. So you guys are like plotting and scheming, like how to say that you. That you want this new beginning here with the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Now we know the Seven of Swords can very well indicate bad shit here. But there's no Three of Cups here. There's no Three of Swords here. Alright, we have good energy around us and we don't have that energy over there. Yes, we do have the Ten of Swords, but possibly for some of you guys in the past, you could have found out about some deception. Fine, fuck it, I'll say it. But that's not what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that someone is scheming here, plotting and planning, how do I make this offer? How do I come back? How do I explain what took me so long? Or just how can I just make it grand? I'm feeling like, that's what I'm feeling like. Someone's plot being sneaky and plotting and planning here. I'm also getting like page of source energy here as well. For like someone's just definitely checking you out, watching you. But clearly they want to have a passion in the beginning here. They are into you. With the ace of wands, they find you very attractive here. With the knight of cups, could be another fire sign as well. We do have some fire energy out here. You know, not much. Po poquito. But then follow behind the ace of wands is the knight of cups. So... And, he, you know, the masquerade shit is over. As you see on the night, his face is visible. Okay? And then we also have the Queen of Swords. Now, you could be male or female in any, in, in, in any of this energy here. So, don't take the image on the card too close to heart. Alright? But, you're like, you know, you're going to listen them out. You're going to hear them out. Or someone's going to hear you out. And, it's like, you know... They want to understand this. Why did it why did it take you so long to reveal yourself? I wanna say. And yes, it could be like I said, old energy here, but we're focused on the new. So we're not gonna dwell on that shit. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Anything else here for Woodwives, adaptability for Saggies, for new love for December. So we do have, and this could be you, like I said, presenting this offer here with the Ace of Wands. Because, you know, we do have fire energy, but we can't rule out the fact that it could also be another Earth sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have a little bit of air energy here. We also have Cancer again, and we have Gemini. We also have a little bit of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow. Wow. All right, guys. We got the hangman upright, and we have the page of swords. Okay, so in the beginning, I said that I felt hangman energy here. And that's funny because, you know, we, I was about to actually clarify this card. But I didn't even get to get the words out. And look what came out. The hangman. You can't tell me this doesn't kind of relate here. I mean, look at that. It's like, yeah. Bing. Oh, 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 shit. I'm, I'm supposed to accept this divine order, this divine person, my divine counterpart. And this is why you've been stalking. I feel like a lot of you guys probably already knew. And look, and look how he... So I laid the page of swords down like this, and so it's looking right at all this. It's looking right over here at all this. It's looking right this way at all these cards. Yeah, because they want victory, six of wands, you want to be celebrated here, or you could be on the stage, you could be celebrated, so it could be difficult for you to, you know, get to somebody uh, privately, 
um, is what I'm hearing here. You want to be discreet. Could be a Leo as well. We have a little bit more air energy out here with the Page of Swords now. Wow, Tower. Boom. Two of Swords. Still indecisive. Spirit's like, okay, I'm going to make that ass move. <laughs> Six of Swords. I'm going to get you undecisive, okay? You're going to find out real quick. Indecisive about this new beginning here. The spirit's about to let you know. And here's that Five of Swords there. Mentioned that. It's popping up here at the bottom of the deck. So uh, you want to now win at any means necessary here. Wow. 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 Wow, Sag. So you or someone wants to plant seeds here and start this new beginning. We've got the Page of Wands. We have the Seven of Coins. And we have the Two of Cups. So someone feels just the way you feel. Mm-hmm. They like, damn, I wish this motherfucker come on with this offer. Shit. They got the hots for you, Sag, or Sag, you got the hots for them. But either way, y'all both got the hots for each other, okay? And look, there's that lion up there on top of that card. You could definitely be dealing with Leo. And we have the Page of Wands that's coming out as well. So getting a little bit more heavy here with the fire energy. Not really heavy, but just slightly heavy. And you're like really trying to figure out how you can win. If anybody's, if there's any competition, you're like, it's out. You're not, you don't give a. F okay, what Chris just said, somebody likes to eat. Okay. It could be slurp, you know, <laughs> for those that, you know, whatever. We have the judgment and the emperor coming out here. So again, spirit is like, listen, this is what the it is. Emperor here could be done with the Aries fire energy. Like I said, again, it's just here heavy. All right, let's see what's right now for Sagis. All oh, three of Pentacles back at the deck. Right now is the time to build. Right now is the time to reach the hell out. Is what the fuck spirit is saying here. God damn it, we got the, the judgment out here. We got the world card, and we have the lovers. Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're staying up in your fucking head because you know that you got you, babe. You got them, or you want to have them? Yeah, the Empress. Mm -hmm. Libra energy here. Oh, when you're manifesting this. Oh, and that's why the Six of Swords is back. Like, oh, wow. And look, it just keeps getting better and better, Sag. Wow. And then it's going to go to marriage. Or, hmm. If you guys don't want to get married, like legally married, which this is legally married here. But you guys could simply just have like a, um, a common law type of situation, depending on where you live. Right? Or you just want to know, hey, it's going to be a verbal marriage or a verbal commitment. Like, hey, we're together. You're my life partner. We're going to make this happen. You know, those that are skeptical about paperwork or whatever, which I don't know what the fucking problem is. I mean, I get it. it. It could be a headache to get out of it and a process, right? So, but, you know, you don't have to worry about that because this is divinely, this is divine. You're going to ride together. You're going to die together. Literally. And this could be what this tennis story is me. This is going to be your ride or die. Like, this is your ride and die. The death is not out here, but you guys are going to ride from the beginning to the goddamn end. Till death do your part. So you don't have to worry. Mm-hmm. Because the ten of swords is over there on top of the, underneath the chariot. So you're going to ride this shit together till death do your part. Literally, literally, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry. So if you're leery of that, this person is not coming in to steal, cheat, lie, manipulate, anything like that. We don't have no three of swords out here. We don't have no three of cups. No, we don't have no three of wands. Yeah, we did see the three of wands, but it's not out here. 
but we don't have any any of that energy here. This is beautiful, beautiful, divine, connect, a divine connection. Hermit, Virgo, Taurus energy here. You guys could have that placements in your chart. Uh, we have Aries out here again with the Magician. So yeah, and we have Cancer energy here with the four with the Queens, and now we have the four of four swords falling out. I say four wands. Um, yeah, but definitely we know that because we saw the higher fit. But the four swords here, and that's landing on top of the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So you're you're relaxing, you're resting, you're contemplating here. Um, you know how are you gonna get this point across? So far, you guys got three aces out here, Sag. Ace of Cups, Wands, and the Pentacles. All we need is the Ace of Swords. But I know this is the truth. Because this is the energy that I feel here. It feels really good. It feels very humble. It feels very beautiful. It just feels blissful. Alright, so we got a year from now, within a few weeks. Don't worry, I believe it said. No need to worry. And communicate clearly. What is this here for Sag? Justice. Listen. If y'all don't know by now, Libra energy. That spirit, the spirit guides. It's Archangel Michael, by the way. I hope y'all like it. He's so beautiful. His wings got Archangel Gabriel and one. And I don't know this angel name on this side. I got to look him up. And I only want to guess because I don't want to tell y'all the wrong angel. But anyway, your spirit guides are here. And this is going to be a wish fulfillment. And you know it. They know it. And spirit fucking knows it. And that's why they're doing what the hell they're doing. So somebody need to stop this shit. And say something. <laughs> Communicate clearly. What Spirit said right here. Communicate clearly. But yeah. And look. Justice has the scale in one hand. And the sword in the other. So you're going to speak truthfully. Clearly. About this. This deep ass love. That you got for somebody. Sag, or someone has for you. Take it how it resonates. But again. You both have for each other because the two of cups is mutual feeling. And I feel the mutual feeling. It's making me feel like I'm third wheel in this shit. And this shit ain't, don't even look like it came together. It's, one, it's wanting to come together here. Spirit is desperately doing what they could do and more shit to make this come together. We have the will of fortune. The tower. The chariot. Judgment and justice. I mean. I mean, I don't. If that's not a fucking like. I'm hearing ring the alarm. That Beyonce song, ring the alarm. If that's not alarming and ringing somebody's fucking. Medulla Oblongata. Then I don't know what the fuck will. But I'm I'm hearing that somebody's medulla was 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 just that it was enlightened. A year from now, within a few weeks, communicate clearly. Okay, what else for right for right now then? What else for right now for sex? King of Pentacles and King of Cups. Okay. We saw the Queen of Pentacles already. So now the King is coming out here. And the King of Cups. So divine counterparts here. Oh, there's the four ones. And you know this. High Priestess. And there's the Hermit again. And his burden, that Ten of Wands is back there again behind all that. Anything else for right now? For Sag, new love? Some moon rising in Venus. Some moon rising in Venus. Anything else for new love? I mean, 
really love. Yeah, we know it is. Anything else for right now for Sag? New love. All right, I think we're good here. All right. All right. All right, so can we get a year from now within a few weeks? No need not to worry and communicate clearly, please. And thank you. Please and thank you. Anything else, uh, Spirit, can we get? I'm just, like, steady shuffling here. I don't know, guys. Anything? Okay, so are we still on right now? Anything else for right now? I shuffled, like, so much. Right now for Sag, new love for December 2021. Okay, so you guys could be waiting. Someone could be married here as well or in a long-term relationship as well. Is another story I'm seeing here with all this uh, higher energy that's coming in here demanding to change here with the Will of Fortune and Justice. Um, Queen and King of Cups here. Could indicate why the four swords is on top of that. Okay, king of swords. Okay. So maybe spirit is telling me yes. That's what else I needed to say. That's why we weren't getting anything. Alright, I had to glance at the cards again. Like, did I miss something here? And clearly that was it. Uh, king of swords. So, it's going to be sharp. Rough communication here. The queen of swords is out here too. Um, yeah, it could have been definitely a harsh... Uh, a harsh something. This is also could be someone in power, uh, lawyer, judge, someone that could make a uh, like a, a legitimate decision. I want to say a legal decision. I want to say because it fell out over here on justice. So very well could represent um, uh, that communication could be coming in here. Wow! And look, we got the Queen of Pentacles. So okay, so definitely a marriage is here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. I mean, we got three suits on the board. God damn, Tatch. All right, but I feel like a suit of this is the new love, and the suit is the old love. Okay, and I'm going to say it's between this King and Queen of Swords here, because they're kind of lined up here. Yeah, it could have been juggling there. The Five of Wands and then the Moon. Knight of Pentacles and the Fool. Yeah, and then here's the Three of Cups here. And then here's the Five of, five of Cups here behind all that. So it could have been, um, it could have been an Earth sign. A, a Scorpio. Um, or Aries here. Um, Earth energy heavy again with the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. Uh, could have been a third party situation at work with some of you guys here. Um, it could have been a third party situation revolving evol around money. Um, someone's probably lured and bribed here with money here. Because the Knight is looking at the Moon, the Five of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, which made someone else come causing conflict within their, their, uh, causing instability in their home setting or whatever the situation was to now, right? 
if it is an actual love situation, which I guess we're talking about anyway, so what the fuck I keep saying that for? But it caused instability in a home setting or a partnership or someone she was already affiliated with and because someone wanted to be foolish here and, you know, indulging, drinking, sex and partying. You find out, left someone out in the cold here and, you know, you're just focusing on work here. You go, you know, you're pretty much, yeah. Stand to yourselves or stay, stay to yourselves if this is this is like past energy for a lot of you guys. And some for a small portion of you guys, this is energy that you're getting ready to go through or are in right now. Um, but okay, so that's just another sidebar story that I feel like Spirit wanted me to get out. So can we now move on to a year from now? Within a few weeks, no need not to worry and communicate clearly. For Sag, so Moon Rising and Venus, it is your birthday, so I don't even care if we go over. Try to give y'all a good one. Oh, Hierophant fell out there in the Hermit. All right, all right, so, and how it fell is the Hierophant is in the reverse, so, yeah. So, definitely could be, um, communication come in about them. If this is a marriage for a lot of you guys, then... You're waiting to get out of it, and you guys been, you know, doing your own thing and healing, rebuilding, all that good shit. Then I'm feeling like soon here, communication is going to be coming in here soon about this. With the two of wands, could be in two weeks, could be in two months. All right. All right. So, that is coming in for those that are waiting on that. That is coming in for sure. Alright, and maybe that's why this new love hasn't actually taken off yet. But if something's coming in. And look, Ace of Swords is dropping out here. So you're gonna gain some truth. You're gonna gain some clarity. Hell, you might get the you might get that shit in time for Christmas. I'm hearing Mariah Carey song now. All I want for I can't sing y'all. All I want for Christmas. Um, I'm hearing that song play. Um so a lot of you guys like, look, shit, spirit, all I want for Christmas is for this shit to be over, so I can cut it out, and for sure, you know, you want to have it finalized, this is, this is, this is final, this is me speaking the truth here, and that's why we couldn't get anything out, because spirit was like, you're missing some shit here, so you need to, you need to go back, but here it is right here, it is coming, the communication, the clarity, the finalization uh, or the commitment or the communication from, you know, that love partner, the, you know, your divine counterpart that you're waiting for, that's holding back here. And yeah, finally, that burden is, is Gary B. It's Gary B. That. And here you are, Saggy's rushing in. You guys are rushing in to get your divine counterpart. And look, you're, you're triumphing. So the car is going down like this. So he's running towards all this goodness here. Running towards this truth, this clarity, this ace of swords, this six of wands, this magician, this empress, the emperor. And they're sitting next to each other. So truly divine counterparts. And yep, three of wands. It's coming. It's coming, Sagis. So if you're waiting on this, and there's the high priestess again. And look, knight of swords. And there's the king of wands and the strength. You guys could be waiting on the Leo. So we waiting on the air sign. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. I mean, we're good here. We got the Ace of Swords out here. Spirit confirmed. We're speaking truth and the real. And the clarity here. Sad you guys made a strong presence here on the board. With Temperance and Nine of Wands. Um, Knight of Wands. Why do I keep saying Nine? It's Knight. Alright. So... Ten of Pentacles here. And here's the Queen of Wands now at the bottom of the deck. So you're rushing in to heal this heartbreak. The work and build to this Ten of Pentacles. And here you are. They, well, you know, readers say Queen of Wands is you guys. I heard readers say Queen of Wands is Leo. I say Wands is fire fucking energy. It's just fire energy, period. 
All right, so it doesn't matter if you're Aries and Leo, goddamn Sagittarius. In my opinion, it's fire energy. So, is you is you? If is if it's a Leo, it's a Leo. If it's an Aries, it's Aries. You know who you dealt with, been dealing with, wanting to rush towards, or who potentially wants to rush towards you. You know if it's a goddamn Aries. You know if it's a damn Leo or or or, or Sagittarius. Shit. You know if it's you. All right. So let's see. Let's see if we can get a little bit nosier. Let's get the sex tarot for y'all. I haven't really, I haven't really studied these, so I haven't really, you know, I haven't really played with them much. But let's see what kind of sexual energy this could be between you and your divine counterpart. Spirit, can we have some information here about how this? Sexual connection will be between Sagittarius and this divine counterpart coming in. Show us the sexual energy that wants to take place here. They both want to have it because we have the two of cups here. And we have the lovers out here. We also have the knight of wands out here. Show us the sexual energy between Sag and their divine counterpart here. Oh, we have the four of corpus. Four of cups. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be peeking in on y'all. Mm -hmm. We have the nine of spades. And we have the... Ace of Wands. Now, these cards are very explicit, so I cannot really show them for very long. So please get close to the camera as you possibly can, because this is going to be a really quick uh, peek a boo -a dookie All right. Um, you guys could really want to do this here, because uh, Namai's on, and I'm seeing a lot of fire. So this is a strong... Strong sexual passionate connection. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. So okay. Okay. I'm hearing like someone gets excited off of being risky in like public. Okay. So you might want to have some car chronicles here. What else here? We have the Hierophant. Mm. Definitely wants to be married. We have the Queen of Cups. At the bottom of the deck. And the Six of Cups. And the Three of Wands. Okay, mm -hmm. looking very hot and I wish I could show you these these guys these cars like for a good couple seconds but they're just way too explicit so I'm going to report my page here the six of cups popping out again and then we have the nine of cups so yeah this is definitely going to be wish fulfillment here for a lot of you guys Okay, and we have the Six of Cups, and we have the Four of Swords, so yeah. Not being indecisive anymore, I feel like here, you rested enough, you healed enough, you made, meditated enough. And then we have the Knight of Coins at the bottom of the deck here. So this is some really strong energy here off of these cards. You have the Ace of Wands again. Okay, so they really, really want to, you know, a past life love connection here with the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups out here now. Have the three of wands. You're just waiting for that opportunity. Mm-hmm. And you done thought about this, and this is like a wish fulfillment. You done 
mesmerized about this and mesmerized about this and we have the high priestess again so yeah i'm convinced you're convinced that this is something that you definitely want and we have star card here aquarius energy here again we have justice out here let's see if i can put my hand over it a little bit so i can show you guys the cards we got justice there again this is going to be your justice to have this successful passionate interaction here with the eight of wands i mean very passionate here all right and then here is the will of fortune here And we have the Queen of Wands, which you cannot get closer with. But this is a strong connection here. Let's see what this says here for you guys. This is very, like, strong sexual energy here. Um, and if you haven't got with this person yet, uh, if it's a heterosexual relationship, you want to... Um, Make sure you put a ring on or ring in, um, you know, for the ladies, for the men. You want to definitely, you know, triple it up, okay? Especially if you're not trying to have a kid right now, okay? And especially if you don't have any self-control to, you know. So, yeah, you might want to put, like, four of them things on, all right? Because this shit is, is lethal, um, if it's not a hetero relationship, then it is all nuts. <laughs> like, you know, peanuts. Like, you're going to be doing a lot of cracking. A lot of shells are going to be cracking. Alright, that's a lot. New love. A new person has stared your romantic interest. I say they're more than fucking stared here. The water is goddamn boiling over. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, again, maybe you guys know that this person could be married. I feel like if you just communicate, then you would know that this shit is, is over. They're just waiting on finalization of the paperwork. There's no love there. There's, there's no living situation there. There's none of that taking place. I don't see any of that here. I really feel like your person is on their own. They're single. They're independent here with the Nine of Pentacles. You know. That's, that's what I see. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youth and spirit. I'm sorry, inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So be playful. <laughs> be playful. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And they said to put this on right now. Remember, we have right now and right now again. Okay. So, yeah. This shit is here. Like I said, this wheel is turning. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, yeah, because you guys are single, are independent, are lovable, loving on yourselves, you know, those that have gone through things, you guys have healed yourselves, and all that wonderful shit, and it's in perfect timing, and I feel like it's your birthday season, if you guys reach out, you could get the Ace of Wands, for the fellas, and for the ladies, I'm sorry, did I say for the fellas? Okay, so it could be some same-sex relationship going on. Hey, that's fine. Love is love. Get your get your get your cup, you know, and get your get your get your get your freak on that Missy Elliott song. Or for the men, Ace of Cups. And like I said, for same and same, then hey, get your wand, get your Ace of Wands, or go get your Ace of Cups for your birthday. Alright. Whatever. But I'm I'm speaking to about your divine counterpart, but if you guys choose to not reach out to them and enjoy your birthday in some other type of 
way, then that's your call. But I'm saying reach out to your divine counterpart that I feel like you guys know who it is. Souls that belong to each other will always find their way together. And I feel like you know those souls belong together because you feel it. They feel it. Spirit is feeling it. That's why they're making this shit. And you, I hear, I heard old dirty bastard, yo, 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 new flavor in your ear. But all I heard was up in your ear. So they could be yelling this to you up in your ear. You could be, it could not be physically up in your ear. It could be you seeing stuff, things are reminding you of, shit like that. Start reclaiming who you truly are. So I feel like you guys are not being real with yourselves. You're being fake. You're being phony. Be real with yourself because spirit knows the real you. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Exactly. I've, right here with the restriction or whatever I said up here in the beginning here. Um, Avoidance is what I, I said. Avoidance. Thank you, spirit. But yeah, I feel like, and that's out of fear. Fear is another form of toxic, um, you know, it's not channeled from the higher source. Uh, the higher source is not fearful. In fact, they're fearless. Um, okay. As you guys, let me try to show that to you again there. As you see here, Archangel Michael was not afraid to slay the demon. All right, and you guys got to be in your power here, like the strength card we saw at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy there. You guys got to be strong, like Archangel Michael here, and slay the fear, put a death to the fear, because the by holding on to that or allowing fear to consume you and keep you stagnated, you guys are. <laughs> It's like the car is rolling down the street and you guys are now having to, having to run faster to try to catch up to jump in. Or same thing with the wheel. The wheel done fell off the, the, the cables or, you know, whatever holds it intact, right, to keep it secure. And now the wheel is freely rolling away. And But you need to be on here, right, to get to that ultimate destiny. And because you're allowing fear to hold you back, or you allow fear to hold you back, now you gotta you gotta run so hard, so fast, so quickly to try to jump in where you know you actually belong. And you know, another way to rephrase that is you gotta work ten times harder now to get to your star. You gotta work ten times harder now to actually have that wish, that star come in. And here it is here. Aquarius energy, star card. So, yeah. Um, but again, the will, I felt like, again, it's slowly picking up a uh, pace here. And I don't feel like it's quite to the speed where you guys got to, like, do some kill or be killed type of type time to jump onto the will. You know, to get to your destination. But I do feel like the momentum will be picking up fairly soon. Uh, because we have so much indication of uh, something being picked up. The pace being of something being picked up soon here. Alright, with the tower, the chariot, and the wheel of fortune. Alright. And that's just... That's just it. Yeah, look, Janae Aiko is playing right now. That is all I want. I'm not sure that's the actual title of the song, but those of you that are a fan of Janae Aiko, uh, such as myself, I absolutely love her. Um, very, very talented um, woman there. But um, anyway, she's saying, what did you do to my body? And it's like, if you have done it to this body, that's what the hell they're wondering. And if you didn't do it to that body yet, then they gonna be wondering exactly that. And that's all they're gonna want. Like she just said, that is all I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But okay, uh, Sagis, um, that is your new love reading for December 2021. I hope you guys 
enjoyed reading. Again, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you're looking to have a personal reading done, you most certainly can do that by contacting me via email. And that is fieryfalcontarot at gmail. Uh, you may also follow me over on Instagram. Um, and it's the same exact title, Fiery Falcon Tarot on Instagram. You can DM me on there as well if you're looking to have a personal reading done. Um, and like I said, thank you all for the donations to the channel. Um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you for the subscriptions. Um, I appreciate that. Um, please continue to subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Please like the video. It helps the channel grow. Uh, it also helps the message get out there for other um, Sagittarius that may need to hear this message um, for their placement. And that's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But again, we're going to close it out here, Saggies. And um, again, happy birthday. Now I hear, I hear, um, who is it? Uh, oh, my God, future birthday. It's your, oh, wow, that's not future. That is 2 chains. 2 chains. Okay, those that know 2 chains, you, you know. If you know, you know, you know. All right, but that's what I'm hearing right now. It's your birthday. So some of y'all could be going out to the A. All right, happy birthday.